hi guys welcome back to the channel cooking with Freckalicious well today guys I'll be doing some sweet and sour chicken and as you can see I have already cleaned up my chicken and cut them in some bite sizes guys I'm using chicken bone in and skin on but you can use skinless chicken or boneless chicken if you want whichever part of the chicken you choose to use it is up to you let's go right into seasoning my chicken guys let's get started so guys i'll start off with my total seasoning and you can use whatever seasoning you have at home So there it is guys, my chicken is seasoned and I'll just set this aside and move on to the next step. So guys, my next step is I'm going to make a flour mixture, butter for my for my, for my chicken. So I have, I have two cups of flour here, two cups of flour, and I'm going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch to that. One. Two tablespoons of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of salt, and we're going to mix all of this together. This is my dry butter guys, my dry flour butter. Set this aside and I'll move on to the next step. So guys, for my liquid butter, I'm going to add a three quarter cups of flour, a teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of salt. And guys, I'm going to add a cup of milk, but guys, I am using the evaporated milk. It is what I have, so I'm going to use it. It's actually one cup, and we just bake this in. Okay guys, so I'm going to now put together the ingredients to do, to build up my sauce, to do my sauce. So first we are going to go in with half cup of white vinegar, put it in my bowl, a half cup of granulated sugar, I guess you could use dark sugar as well, and a half cup of ketchup. cup of ketchup now guys and I'm going to add a half tablespoon of cornstarch half tablespoon of cornstarch I'm to add half tablespoon of the cornstarch. You 
this is a teaspoon so I'll just use two of this I see two of this guys this is a teaspoon so I'll just use two of it and then we're going to add half teaspoon of salt use too much salt and a half teaspoon of black pepper half teaspoon of black pepper half teaspoon of black pepper and guys we are going to blend this together mix this together So guys, I'll just get right into chopping my vegetables. So there you have it guys, all my veggies finally chopped up. I also have my, my pineapple that I will be using. So I'm using pineapple from the tin as well as the juice from the tin guys. Guys, we'll just go ahead and cut up my pineapples. Okay guys, so we'll just go to the stove and start frying up our chicken. So guys, now to start in our chicken. So the chicken that was seasoned earlier, I'm going to put them in my flour butter. You know, the same flour that I, that I did earlier as well. I'm going to put about half of the amount in there. It's the first process. Coat them properly with the flour. And then guys I'll shake them off shake off the excess flour shake off the excess flour and put them in my liquid butter going with a spoon guys coat them properly because I'm going to put them back in the flour in the flour before I start actually start frying them So guys, I'll start to fry my chicken now. Let me check my oil. Okay, we can start dropping them. So 
Okay guys, so this first batch is done so I can remove them now. Go with the second batch. Second batch of chicken, guys, is ready to be taken out. So guys, I'll add two tablespoons of oil to my, to my pot there that I'm going to do my chicken in. And I'm to, going to go ahead and add a tablespoon of my green, green seasoning. And then I'll begin to add my vegetables that I'm already chopped up. And add my onions. Add my onions here, guys. Green bell peppers and my red bell peppers. Hot and for a while and soft, no? Guys, I'll add a dash of black pepper to my to my vegetables that are being sauteed. I'm not going to add any more salt guys. And I can see that they start to loosen up already guys. Go ahead and add my thyme. Add my thyme. The colors are popping guys. And it is smelling awesome. So now guys, I'm going to go ahead and add my pine juice. And my pine juice. And I'm going to add my ketchup mixture. Guys, I will allow this to reduce and then I'll add my chicken guys I'm going to now add my chicken And there have it guys my sweet and sour chicken as it is delicious thank you for tuning in and for staying with cooking with Frecklicious and for guys if you really like this video if you really love this video and you have not yet subscribed just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Press the post notification bell, guys. Put it on all to see whenever I upload all my other videos and to view all the other videos that I've, videos that I've made so far. Thanks for watching again, guys. 
and this is such a sumptuous meal guys that i know you are going to enjoy it as much as all we are going to enjoy it thanks for watching and my fellow subscribers my fellow peeps my fellow watchers my fellow non-subscribers who are going to be subscribers for all of my potential subscribers this is just for you i will see you in the next video